Hi everyone, welcome to the Big Lazy of the Small House. Today I'm gonna clean, treat the bulb that I bought a couple of weeks ago from our local floral shop. They work with jute. So these are the jute bulbs, they, they, the ones that they sell in, uh, I don't know, a section of five, five types, five hybrids. So, this is one of the, the best that they had. So you can see there's lots of cleaning to be done. We've got bulblet, that's why I took it. I didn't have an intention. I think it's white because I bought two. So, but this one has the, uh, the cyclamen mite. The, <clears throat> the, the damage that it does to the bulb looks like this orange, red, kind of blood colored stains. So I will treat it first with uh, a caricide, just like I usually do. And I will plant this bulb into a 9 liter pot with a bul bulblet. So the bulb will be, the main will be here at the center and the bulblet somewhere on the side. So when it blooms, I will know what kind of hybrid it is. And I can later in autumn report the bulblet into a separate pot and label it properly. Because right now I have about 50 bulbs in the, in the greenhouse that don't have any labels. There's all these presents and gifts and please help me to get rid of this stuff. And I don't want to have any other extra. So from this season, this is the the old unflowered stem, it's dried and it's wet. It's actually absolutely wet, soaking wet. This is what usually happens when the bulb is uh, treated before selling. That's what they wash them in the huge washing machines and dry them up, but it doesn't really dry up too well sometimes. And this is what it costs. So now there's something was eating this bulb as well, as you can see. There's lots of rot inside. Oh, that's huge. I hope there is no the cold narcissus fly. There's something that's definitely munching away. This must be warm inside. We'll see. Oh, that's disgusting. So this is the, the main reason these bulbs look like this, because I never had this problem before with jute bulbs, they always arrived in a good shape. The only thing I had to do just clean some dry scales and plant, but for the past three years, every year becomes more and more disaster. Even though that these uh, scales are looking healthy, still they're better to, to be removed. And there's a bulblet here, but that I don't think I need it. Let's see what's inside. As I said before, I have to be, make, sh make sure that the bulb doesn't have any mite traces. These are mites. And I remove all those dry scales from the top. That looks okay. So there are mites just on the surface. Didn't get deep inside. I hope. So, I'll probably remove this scale as well, because it's already damaged. And this is not soil, it's actually the warm poop. As it was eating the bulb. And still. 
and the bulb is wet. I mean, this layer was still, it's, this one is dry, but the one before was wet. So, as you can see, mites. So, red dots are the places, traces where the mites were eating the bulb. And I have to get very close to the scale, just make sure that there's no tra my trace in there. Well, that's a new one. Purple. That's something I've never seen before. This is actually the, <coughs> the first bulb that have experienced lots of things like this stuff, the, the worm, the caterpillar. Eating it. So we'll see. There's another scape appearing. Let me get the camera a bit closer to me. So you can see. As you can see, mites. You know, some mites are living inside the scale. And they create a colony that you can and actually feel it. And touch it, there's a little bump inside that is red colored. And yeah, lots of mites in there. So I guess it would be the last season that I'm buying bulbs because actually I'm fed up with fighting this stuff, so I'll probably stick to my collection. I'll probably chop off this part, because the leaves are damaged. Anyways, you can see, I don't know if the camera can fix it securely. These are all mite bites. As you can see, then they're going well deep inside the bulb. And I hope to see the bloom of this bulb, unless I have to remove the stalks, just so that the bulb has enough nutrients to bloom, uh, to root. I guess. Well, I guess I'll leave it like this for a moment, let the bulb bloom, and then I'll inspect it later, just to make sure that there's, there's no mites inside. I might sprinkle it with alcohol. I guess everyone has this stuff. It's 95% medical alcohol that you use for disinfecting everything after COVID. Yep, as you see. The mites are well deep inside, so this stalk has to go. And I guess I'll do a bit of trimming here. Yes, lots of stuff inside. And If you don't remove that, the mites will, first of all, they will eat the bulb itself. And also it will infect other flowers in your collection. So it's better to be cruel this, at this stage, rather than losing the whole collection to mites. As you can see, it goes really well deep inside. And can you imagine cleaning all those... 400 bulbs that I have in collection would be a disaster. Like, look. Let's 
it's a really shame you could, you could see that how big the bulb was and how big the damage might do to the bulb. And well, I guess nope. There's still some more. I guess we'll chop it a bit more. And I guess I'll give it a smaller pot because it will be easier for me to control control the situation with this pulp. Hopefully it will recover because this is what would usually happen to the bulb inside if you don't remove it. <coughs> Unfortunately, there is no Akari site that is system systemic so that you can water the plant and it will become poisonous. Nope. And it becomes poisonous to mites. No, nope. there's no such thing. So we have to use the Akari sites that are contact type so that if it's applied to the surface, the mites will bite, bite the plant and get poisoned. But not, it will bite the surface that is covered with Akari site. But there is no such thing that, that makes it poisonous. To, to make the plant poisonous itself. It's not like Bravecto or whatever stuff is that is used on pet, pets. I even thought that, that that Bravecto is not really safe actually. It affects the nervous systems of, of the animal. But hopefully one day there will be a remedy that will be just apply and forget about it for six weeks. That's what generally pesticides work for. And I apply it between the leaves. The growth point is still there. That's the center. And the growth point is still there and it's alive. And it has, has very high chances to recover. So in half an hour, once the eucaricide dries out, I will apply fungicide and I'll plant it to another pot. So I have to prepare another pot for myself, uh, my, uh, for these little two things. And we'll see in a couple of months how it will recover. Stay tuned. Bye.